We grow larches in many different shapes and sizes. This is one of our large field-grown larches. This is every bit five foot long, and it's like a slanting or windswept style. And because most of my customers have large gardens, I find that large bonsai of this size are quite popular with a lot of my customers. So here it is coming into leaf and as with most of the larches they retain the old cones from the previous years and you can see the new cones also appearing. By the way the large cones in case you didn't know there are two types some of them are green and some of them are purple. You sometimes find them on the same tree but this one has only got the green cones. I'll find a larch that has the two coloured cones. I love to show people this larch because I may have shown this before. For some reason, I find that most of the larches on our nursery seem to attract the lichen. And lichen, we find them growing on our apple trees. And someone once told me that it's a sign of clean air, but I can't believe that because we are under the flight path of Gatwick and there's so much pollution from the aeroplanes that I don't believe the air is that clean. And yet we have all this beautiful lichen growing on our larches. But for some reason, the lichen only grow on the larches. I will never find lichen growing on the maples or this is a Japanese beach. Uh, no other species tends to attract the uh, lichen. Only the larch seems to get it. While I'm showing you this tree, I was talking a bit earlier about the purple cone. So these are the purple young cones that you find on the larch. And this particular tree only has the purple cones, not the green ones. So this again is grown in this slanting style, if you can see the picture properly. And it's one of my favorite trees. Let me go on to another one. Now just to show you the versatility of larches. These, by the way, are all Japanese larch, which is Larix camphorae. And these have all been trained in this very sinuous style. The thicker trunk ones have been obviously shaped when they were young. And the smaller ones were just done an hour ago. There's some more in the process of being shaped and trained. These, by the way, will be the subject of a separate video on how we shape and style larches. We've always got so many projects on the go, so you can see larches everywhere. And this is a larch waiting to be repotted and trimmed and shaped. So this will also be the subject of another video. This is a mighty great big larch. I'm going to do something with that. And that again will be the subject of another project. Really, really old larches with massive thick trunks, obviously made from field grown trees. And while we are talking about field grown trees, I'm now going to take a walk around the nursery to show you the different sizes of larches we grow. This is an example of some of the larch forests that we make. And these are made from young saplings, although they're not young. These are all about six, eight, or even 10 years old. But we don't let them grow big. We just keep them uh, trimmed back. And just to show you how old they are, this one you think it is young, but they're all producing cones. Can you see the cones, lovely cones on this one? These larches are seedlings. They are three to four year old plants, which are grown in the field and when they are about this size we dig them up from the seed beds and then we pot them up so you can see that they're all different sizes this one is about 60 centimeter tall and some are only about i would say not more than 15 centimeter tall but they all are the same age for some reason so these have been potted up we keep them in the greenhouse because they were potted up in November 
so they needed some protection so we have a couple of hundred of these we are very fond of larches when i first came to the nursery all i ever produced was larch bonsai and i managed to make a living just selling larch bonsai i will now take you to another area where they are grown in the open so let me take you to our growing fields where we grow our larches and when we grow things in the field they are large uh, as i walked through i thought i'd show you this very big larch this larch has been growing in the ground for i think as long as 30 years so it is every bit eight foot tall and the trunk diameter at the base must be about 12 inches at the base but it is rather large and because I have a lot of uh, larches which are large, which are used for garden trees, this is going to be destined to be a large bonsai rather than a garden tree. So what some of my guys have done is to put a bag of moss around it and we're going to try and air layer this larch. Talking of air layering larches, uh, larches can be air layered but they do take time to root. I have known larches to take as long as sometimes two years before they root. So although they can air layer, they are not that easy to air layer. So hopefully I will keep you up with the progress on this tree and I will trim it, but I don't want to trim too much because the more vigor there is at the top, it helps the roots to form in the air layer. So if you make the tree weak at the top it may not air layer so fast i will grow it fast and after it's rooted i may then uh, remove some of the branches so let me continue walking through this growing area of ours so this growing area um, although we call it the growing area we do grow things in the ground but from time to time we lift them from the ground as well and last year in 2019 we dug up about 200 larches of all different sizes mainly on the big side look at this one this is about four or five foot tall and um, it has a lot of possibilities so there are lots of very big ones so some of them are you going to be used for garden trees like that tall one look at the cones on that one the cones stay on the branches for a long time so they're rather nice when uh, they adorn the tree and the old cones stay on the branches for a long time but the new ones come each year so these green ones are the new cones for the current year Talking of these cones, they come in two colors. Some are green and some are purple, but they are all cones. There are also male flowers, but I can't see any at the moment. Oh yes, the flowers are the ones that hang down. So these bits hanging down, they are the male flowers and the cones are the upright ones. Those are the cones. That's a cone. And the ones hanging down there are the male flowers. So I've been told. So there are larches galore. Larches by the hundred. I don't prune the larches too much because I leave them to grow in case customers may want to have their own ideas and use their own artistic expression to shape the trees in the manner they want. So many people say why don't you trim all these larches or trim all your garden trees there's a very good reason why i do not do that it's because i like to leave the customers the enjoyment or the pleasure of shaping it themselves so all these larches are left for that reason so you will see literally hundreds of them all over the place everywhere i turn you will find larches growing so I can't leave them in the ground forever because if you leave them in the ground too long, they become too big and too tall. So they have to be dug up. So although these trees are say like four foot tall, you can get it to bud back. And like this one, I can cut it down to about two or three feet and it is still bud back. So this is how they're used. I will just show you some of our tall garden trees. These are all our tall garden trees. They take years and years to shape but they will eventually become nice trees 
and if they bud back lower down I can make them into nice bonsai as well so these are all our larches and I must say the cones are ever so pretty I will do a separate video on how I roughly shape some of these. I won't do them all. I may pick three or four and show you how I would style some of them.